for uranium stocks that I've invested in myself, I'm up like 110%. Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about four uranium stocks. They might be uranium mining or they might be nuclear energy related stocks, but either way, they're related to nuclear energy and they are all stocks that I've invested in myself and I believe they are good investments and nothing in this video is financial advice. So let's get right to it. The first stock we're going to talk about, which has the highest return for me, is Rolls-Royce Holdings in the London Stock Exchange RR or in the American Stock Exchange RICE. So Rolls-Royce, I'm up like 110%. So you can see here it has a hold rating right now. I mean, I'll admit I bought it quite a long time ago and I am holding pretty much, but I still don't think it's a bad stock to buy right now. You see insiders are acquiring shares right now. There is a downside risk, make, which makes sense because it's gone up quite a lot. So it's okay to have that risk in mind. So uh, they are working on SMRs, which you can see here on their website, small modular nuclear reactors, which is like small affordable nuclear nuclear um, power plants sort of thing that they can put dotted all over the, the country to provide like each neighborhood with carbon free nuclear energy and each of these nuclear reactors can produce as much energy as like 150 windmill three or 470 megawatts per like nuclear reactor and and they're saying that each reactor can produce like energy for at least the next 60 years and they're planning to make their first one by 2029 if you invest in this now like you're still not too late to the party the stock also has the benefits of being a travel related stock and defense so you have travel and defense and nuclear energy so the stock itself is quite diverse as opposed to the other three stocks that i'm going to show you today i also talked about rolls royce more a bit more in depth in a previous video that i'll attach or you can find on my page uh, about top four stocks to invest in and i talked a bit more over there about like the new the ceo and things like that so you can check that out key executives it's the the Turkish guy who I talked about in my other video. Key competitors, BAE Systems. I guess it's a competitor in some way, but they also work together on some things. I think I talked about that in previous videos as well. The other thing about Rolls-Royce is that they've named it Small Modular Reactors, which I think is a good move, especially in a way to win over the public, maybe instead of calling it like nuclear reactor sort of thing, you're calling it like another name that might just subconsciously work a bit better with people they might be more accepting of it because it just doesn't sound nuclear and things like that i mean these small things do make a difference sometimes so you never know the next stock i'm going to talk to you about is denison mines dnn in the american stock exchange this has a buy rating all the other stocks i'm going to talk to you about as far as i know they have buy ratings uh we'll double check as we go through the video so this has a buy rating, healthy interest rate. I mean, short, healthy, short interest, which I mean, I don't know, it doesn't mean that much. Some things can have uh, really bad short interest and then squeeze or whatever. But anyway, that's not like the main focus. Just yesterday, Barclays PLC bought 150,000 shares, which is that's worth like $200,000. I mean, I don't know how much more they have of it. I guess it doesn't feel like a huge amount, but in DNN, I'm up like around 28%, I want to say. From what I know, they have like a really, really large reserve of uranium. When the price of uranium goes up, which it likely will, this reserve of uranium will be worth a lot more and it'll add a lot of value to like the company as a whole. And then even more value when they sell it and use it and whatever. Uh, so yeah, here you can see 2.5 million pounds of 
physical uranium held in North American storage facilities acquired at an average cost of $29.66. So it had a huge spike here, then it went down. It's been on the rise basically in the last couple of years, partly due to like green energy, clean energy, whatever. But the people who want clean energy don't seem to want nuclear energy, but it's a really good source and it is clean. It just needs to be done properly and with the right precautions. $74.15 million basically in uranium is how much they spent. It's currently worth like double that, at least more than double that. And that's just their reserves. 300,000 hectares of prospective exploration, exploration ground in Athabasaka Basin. I don't know where that is. Largest undeveloped uranium project in blah, blah, okay. The third stock I'm going to talk about is Cameco Corporation, CCJ in the New York Stock Exchange. I think this is a Canadian company. Yeah, Canada. It's also got a buy rating, weak dividend, doesn't matter. And I'm up like 58%, I want to say, in this. 58%, I think. Yeah, I think I bought it like at 27 or something. I don't know, something like that. I can't remember. Anyway. 25.6 million pounds annual sales volume average annual realized price 57.85 i'm guessing they've probably bought it at like way less than that as well like a nuclear fuel cycle from exploration to fuel manufacturing okay so they are actually manufacturing the fuel as well which is a good sign because you know the uranium could even just run out or whatever but when you're providing Fuel. I, mean, I don't know how quickly like this I don't know like how much uranium can get used up my main thing is that as a stock it's good and it gives me profit and it just keeps going up and up and uh, I think there's a lot more up than it can go so that's why I'm telling you about it in this video the last but not least stock I'm gonna talk about is energy fuels you 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 <gasps> now on the new york stock exchange this also has a buy rating 20 percent upside whatever cool this one and dnn have been going up a bit slower than ccj ccj has been going up like more quickly but i think dnn and uu are still like uh in a better position to buy right now because they still haven't gone up like as much this and dnn i'm up like 33 in this and then 28 in dnn while ccj i'm up like 58 or something even though i did actually buy dnn much before any of these i first bought dnn well rolls royce i first bought but it wasn't mainly for uranium then i bought dnn then i bought ccj and then i bought uuu i'm not focusing too much on the profitability of these companies right Right now you know net income negative whatever things like that I'm more focused on like the future and what like potential there is I mean just the reserves of uranium that they have are like going up in price so much and honestly energy fuels I don't actually know much about it I just know that it's like a uranium company and and it's been doing well for me in my portfolio only conventional uranium producer in America conventional uranium producing i don't know like i don't even know what that is but anyway these are the four stocks do your own due diligence do your own research good luck and see you in the next video